Hi, I'm Patty from AskAuntPatty.com. You're about to view a video today that will show you professional products and solutions for your everyday cleaning problems. My goal is to dramatically cut your cleaning time so that you will have more time for the things that you love. See you at the end of the video. Hi, I'm Rich and thanks for tuning in to AskAuntPatty.com. One of the real common things that we have in the house, and I know with my children it was, it was a forever problem, is Kool-Aid and juice would die in it. It's a really difficult thing to get out of the carpet. The longer it's in there, the harder it is to get out. It's actually pretty easy to get out if you get on it right away. What we have here, and I don't know if you can see it on this white carpet, is we do have some red dye Kool-Aid that uh, has been put in the carpet, and we have a product it's called Juice Out that not only works good on anything with red dye or juice but it also works good on lipstick it's just a great product now with all chemicals I always recommend you test the carpet for color fastness so you go to an uh, area of the carpet where nobody's gonna see and make sure there's no color transfer it's a very safe product but just to be careful as with all spots when we apply the product it is going to release the spot and we're going to want to draw it out using a towel and we always want you to follow manufacturers directions we want to work the stain towards the center and have our trusty white absorbent towel handy to uh, be able to pull the stain out so if you're ready so am I let's get after it and get this uh, Kool-Aid out of the carpet okay we're going to apply the chemical we're going to work it towards the center because we want to contain the stain. We don't want to release the stain and have it run out to the back. And I'll agitate it a little bit with my fingers. And I can see that it's releasing very well. If you ever have a stain that magically disappears after you clean it and it comes back the next day, we call that in the industry wicking. What's happening is you ran the stain down into the backing of your carpet and as it dries it's bringing the stain from the bottom of your carpet back up to the top. That's why we do this with the white absorbent towel and we put pressure on it because we do not want wicking to happen. We don't want magically disappearing, reappearing stains. And I'm proud to say that uh, we got the Kool-Aid out of the carpet. Thank you. Hi, I'm going to show you how to get really, really tough food stains like Kool-Aid or red dye stains or any type of a dye out of the carpet if it's been in there a long time. It's a little trick I learned a long time ago. What we have here is some red Kool-Aid that we couldn't get out. We tried everything and it didn't work. So now we're going to use a little bit different approach. We're going to use an iron. First we're going to take the magic chemical, which is juice out, apply it to the stain, and we're going to agitate it. I'm going to use my fingers because it's not a real caustic product. We're going to rub it in real, real good into that dye. And then I'm going to show you how to pull it right out of the carpet. We're going to take this damp wash rag, and it's, it, it's important that you get this thing totally wet, wring it out so it's damp. We're going to lay it over the spot. Then you're going to take an iron that you have at the lowest setting on silk or polyester, and we're going to set the iron right on top of it. Now you do not ever ever want to put an iron, a hot iron, on nylon carpet. But when we set it on the damp towel, you know, which is between it, it's going to, the heat and the chemical is going to draw that Kool-Aid into the towel. And it says that it's going to take two to five minutes, but we're going to want to monitor it. We're not going to let it sit there for the whole five minutes. Because we may want to rotate the towel to a clean spot and then, you know, see, make sure that we're getting it out. So I think we've left it on there maybe 30 seconds. We're going to pull the iron up and see if we're getting any of it out. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but a lot of the pink dye is coming out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the towel and move it to a new spot. Okay? And we're going to take our iron and put it back down and let our iron go to work again. And again, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's all kinds of pink on this white towel. And if we look at the carpet, the uh, red dye is out of the carpet. Now, it's a little bit warm because I'm only using a carpet square, 
But trust me, the red dye is out of the carpet. Just make sure you follow directions and uh, good luck and hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Hi, Aunt Patty again. I hope you found the video informative. And if you're interested in buying the products today, you can go to www.cleaningsolutionssuperstore.com. I'll be happy to send you anything you order, and it's guaranteed. Thanks for watching the video.